Hi, everyone. Welcome back to First and Goals. We're in a beautiful limo right now with the birthday boy himself, Jarvis Green. You've had an excellent adventure, Jarvis. You had your hair highlighted. You also went to the chiropractor. You spoke to Johnson & Wales students. But now for the grand finale, some of your old teammates there, the Patriots in Zuma, having a good time with a lot of fans, all for a good cause, the Jarvis Green Foundation and your birthday. You're right. You know what, Harry? I'm happy to be here, man. It's been a great week. And I was just doing other things for the community, man, talking to the Johnson & Wales students and having a little fun in the community. But tonight, this is the big bash, man. You know, the 3-2, the, the feeling younger every day. And just uh, at the same time, this is the benefit for those uh, single working mothers out there. And we're going to have fun tonight. It's our night. Let's go for it. Let's head into Zuma. Big 32, two-time Super Bowl champion. Let's go party. Well, here we are at Zuma and Jarvis. This is the most beautiful cake I've ever seen in my life. Looks just like Gillette Stadium. What a birthday cake. My, this is one hell of a cake, man. Uh, Leo, wow. I didn't expect this at all. I expected a little round cake. He put up Gillette Stadium, man, and I got my pictures in the background, got the championship banners. This is, this is great, man. It's the first uh, birthday bash out here at Zuma, man, back in Providence. It's very special. Uh, I can't believe this cake, man, uh, and everybody's coming out. It's so early right now. I see so many faces, you know, just to work the room, man. I see a lot of friends, a lot of support, man. Golly, this is one. It's going to be a great night. It's going to be a great night. Once again, a very beautiful cake. Jarvis is going to go enjoy it, and we're going to go talk to some of his teammates, the New England Patriots, about their passion for the Jarvis Green Foundation. Here with Ty Warren, an old friend, old teammate of Jarvis Green. You're coming back to help him even though you're not on the same team. What does that mean about your friendship? Oh, well, you know, Jarvis is, uh, is a great friend of mine. And, what's uh, up, man? What's going on, baby? Ty Warren, what's up, man? It's a long time, bro. <laughs> good, you know, good, 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 good. What's up? Man. You met Harry? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, just, you know, just speaking on your behalf of the, you know, the foundation and Jarvis Green Network and everything like that, man. You know, uh, me and Jarvis been, you know, became friends, you know, uh, playing together and we remain friends uh, even after that. And it's, uh, it's always been good, uh, the humanitarian uh, efforts that he's always put out, put forward. So, and uh, we've always supported that, my wife and I. And with all your success on the field, what does it mean to give back to the community? Like single mothers and Hurricane Katrina victims, they need your help and you're doing it. Well, you know, I mean, that's a special part. Uh, that's a special place in Jarvis' heart. And, uh, and, and he contributes uh, to that effort. Uh, myself and others, we contribute to a lot of things that's near and dear to our hearts. And so uh, the fact that Jarvis uh, even uh, takes the time out and the effort to uh, give back the way he does is uh, says enough and uh, speaks volumes uh, itself. So uh, Jarvis always had a big heart. He always, he's always throwing events uh, similar to this one. and. Uh, you know, and it doesn't surprise me that Jarvis will come back even after being gone for a year to do what he's doing. How does that help you guys on the field when you know people are watching and you know that your wins and your results help them uh, keep going on their day? Well, really, I mean, both really have their own identities. I think uh, uh, things like what Jarvis is doing, things that I do or any other player do, is something that's been uh, instilled in them way before they even took the field at their respective teams. So, uh, you know, I, I look at it as really two separate identities, you know. What are your goals coming up in the offseason with the Patriots? Uh, you know, you know, time will tell. I mean, uh, well, you know, I think everybody kind of looking at wounds right now. But, uh, you know, uh, each year uh, brings its own excitement. So, yeah, I would say so. I mean, it's a lot, man. For one, uh, Jarvis is a great guy. Not only is he a great football player, but uh, he's a great friend of mine. And, you know what I'm saying? Anytime this guy happens, anything, I'm going to be there to support him. And also, uh, for a teammate, you guys are no longer on the same team, right. but that Patriot bond doesn't die. Exactly. Well, the biggest thing is you win Super Bowls together, that bonds you. You know, uh, the fact that, man, this guy came in the same draft class. So I think we, we did a whole lot. We went through a lot of uh, negative torturing by the veteran guys early on, and, and, and it sticks with us. I think we still continue to keep up with each other, even you, though we're on separate teams. When you hear about the Jarvis Green Foundation, what does that mean to you? Well, it's a lot, man. I think the biggest thing is for all the guys to get out and do a lot of work in the community. You know, Jarvis has been doing that since he was here. I do the same thing myself uh, and a bunch of other guys on the team as well. What makes the Patriots such a great team? Not not a team on the field, but a team off right. the field. Well, I think most of the stuff 
once you walk inside that building, the biggest thing is being accountable to your teammates first and to yourself. And I think it all starts with Coach Belichick, you know what I'm saying, who spears the whole thing. And you know Mr. Kraft is the head of everything. And uh, final question about the Patriots. Looking forward to next year. What are you guys excited about? Uh, everything. I, I think this year, uh, you know, we came up on the short end of the stick. We understand we was 14-2. We're going to see can we go out and top that next year and do bigger and better things in the postseason. Well, there's no question you can do it. And Mr. Jarvis Green, when he watches this, any comments to your old teammate? Oh, no, man. Just What's tell up, him to keep man? working, get his butt back on the football field. This year coming up, we're going to train together. We'll make sure he's out on the field. I'm not training with you, man. <laughs> Be out of town. You doing all right, man? Good, man. Thanks for coming Good. to the event, though, man. Oh, man you Thank know, you, anytime, man. baby. Great, man. Anytime. We have some fun tonight, man. Anytime. Cool. Nice to see you, man. Yes, sir. Harry Chickman. <laughs> it's the future of media right there. Jarvis Green with Dion Branch. First and goals in the Jarvis Green Foundation.